Looking at the numbers, holiday sales were apparently better than expected for retailers. It's a little surprising. Holiday shopping increased significantly this year, and a lot of that happened inside local stores. So what caused that? Nick Monticelli joins us live from the Whistle Stop Hobby Shop in St. Clair Shores. And Nick, how were brick and mortars able to kind of reverse this trend? Well, Jason, it's because of uncertainty, basically. And let me explain why. I just heard a little girl in the store say, Mama, they have poppets. They do have poppets. It's because a lot of people weren't sure if they ordered something online, if it was going to come on time, would they like it? So they went back to basics and found things in stores. The holiday cheer is lasting a little longer at local shops around Metro Detroit, like Whistle Stop in St. Clair Shores. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Where co-owner Julie Everett believes sales were up for two reasons. Buyers supporting local stores and fears that online orders wouldn't show up on time. Actually, I just heard from one even today. Um, a fireman locally came in and he was looking for a Lego and it still hasn't showed up and we had it in store. So he was pleasantly surprised and happy. At Times Square on Detroit's Avenue of Fashion, Algernon Bartell says he hasn't had sales like this since COVID began. We had traffic this year like we hadn't had in uh, 2020 or 2019, it was an amazing year. Across the country, holiday spending increased eight and a half percent, and maybe even more locally, with owners hoping the fears of online shopping forced people to remember the brick and mortar stores. It's so important to have the brick and mortar stores still around, and I just hope that people will still support those brick and mortar stores so that we all can keep our doors open. I believe as Aristotle said that we're social animals, so being the big box store, something about a unique boutique where you have the seat, you touch, you feel, you have the personal service, made them feel like they're welcome. All right, something else the stories were pointing out is that what's nice when you come to a brick and mortar store is that if you don't know what you want, you can always ask. They can walk you through. You can look and get some ideas. And speaking of ideas, Jason, I know Christmas is already over, but they've got some Spider-Man toys. They've got the Gold Infinity Gauntlet. So I don't know what the plans are for the rest of our evening shows, but count me out because I'll be here <laughs> playing with toys. We, we were way ahead of you on that one. And why would anybody buy a suit online when you can actually go talk to a guy named Algernon to take your measurements and get you that suit, right? You know, it's, you know you're going to walk out looking good. <laughs> All right, Nick. You thanks. know you've got quality with Algernon. Yes. <laughs> Nick Monticelli reporting live for us tonight.